Greeting once again. I'm Father Paul DeMuth, the senior priest for the diocese, and just want to share a story with you that, that uh, I think is relevant for us today. You know, I was never much of a cook. My mom took care of the food when I was growing up. When I went to the seminary, we had three squares a day. And as after I got ordained for the first few years, there was always a, a, a woman there who would do the cooking for us. So I did okay. Back in 1975, my best friend of happy memory, Father Dave Kasparik, and I decided to, uh, besides working for the diocese, to take on the parish at St. John the Evangelist, downtown Green Bay. So we moved in together, and there I had another advantage, because he was a great cook. And so uh, I, the agreement was that I'd set the table and I'd clean up after, he'd do the cooking. So there I was for a good eight years uh, being served very nicely. And then he was transferred to St. Edward and Isidore in Flintville. And suddenly, for the first time in my life, I was living alone. And I had a cook. The surprising thing was that throughout those years, evidently, I had been unconsciously watching Dave, and uh, I had learned how to cook. And so I was able to go on quite well, and have learned a lot since then. Well, you know, our church is a church centered around a meal. We're a Eucharistic church, and it is a wonderful time to be able to gather as the people of God, and enjoy and be nourished by the body and blood of Christ. I can't tell you how many people over the last weeks have said to me and have shared with others, and I'm sure you're one of them, how much you missed the Eucharist and how much you missed gathering with other people during this time of pandemic. It's not been easy. You know, I've had the privilege of continuing through live streaming to celebrate Mass for the people in the Denmark area. But it certainly was strange looking out into the church and not seeing anybody there. I long to be with people as I celebrate the Eucharist. Well, friends, welcome back. This weekend, as we celebrate the Feast of the Body and Blood of Christ, Corpus Christi, welcome back to celebrate the Eucharist. What you and I take for granted, as I did with those meals that were provided me for so many years, is when it's taken away, suddenly a gift realized. And I hope that you're at that point in your life where you say, wow, I need to have the Lord Jesus walk with me. And I need to be with my brothers and sisters in Christ. That is, after all, what it is all about. We are a team, a family. And as we continue to receive the body and blood of the Lord, we are, in fact, being transformed into the very body and blood of the Lord. If perchance you've been at that stage of life where, well, going to Mass just kind of slipped by the by, or you haven't ever been going to church very much, maybe this is the time when you can feel reinvited and hungry for the Lord. It is the Lord Jesus who invites you, to invites you to become his body, to become his blood, to become his person, and to do it in community with one another, our brothers and sisters. Let the Lord transform you. Let him make a change. You know, as the recent protests have been showing throughout our country and beyond in other countries too, there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of racial injustice. There's a lot of blindness. And there aren't going to be any changes 
unless it really goes deep into your heart and into mind. Alone, I don't think we can accomplish very much. But together, with our brothers and sisters who are based in the faith and who are with the Lord Jesus, who is continually reaching out and calling others into his community of faith, together we can make a difference. Brother Dave, thanks for subtly teaching me how to cook. And thank you, Lord, providing me and all of us with yourself, spiritual food for the journey.